Hi there everybody, it's Housie from Slim and Stylish and I'm a UK Stamping Up independent demonstrator. Thank you for joining me today. Today I have the continuation of the project I did yesterday which is also up on YouTube and on my blog and there will also be a blog post for this as well but it's on the kits that Stampin' Up offer. These are great kits. Yesterday I did the Soft Sayings kit and today I'm doing the Lots of Happy kit. But the way I'm doing this is I'm showing you what you can make with the kit and then I'm going to show you after you've finished with all the cards and the embellishments and everything that comes in the kit, how you can still keep using the kit and what sort of things you can get to just make it, just step it up from a kit then into your own projects. So this kit, the Lots of Happy Card Kit, is great. There's five different cards in it and you can make four of each. So this is one of them and it's great because it's got all these little embellishments that stick on it and this is still going to be current in the next catalogue the same as a soft sayings one from yesterday this one this one's tiny ever so tiny i mean look at that it is smaller than my ink pad you've got is it a hexagon is six sides a hexagon i think it is six is a hexagon and five a pentagon i think hexagon i'm gonna go with hexagon and you will have the foil punch outs as well all of these are in the kit and all you can do is colour and assemble this. So you've got that one as well with a lavender, really cute. And the final one is this one and you can make five of each of these. The sentiments on the stamps are quite cute as well. You've got sending you lots and lots of happy. Here's to the happiest birthday yet. Thank you for being a friend. You deserve the best life has to offer. I'm always here for you and then you've got two flowers but what's great is also in the kit comes four watercolor pencils so you're not going to run out of those so today I'm making cards using the pencils and the stamps and just show you a few extra items that you can bring in to liven your cards up it means there's no more kit so I'm going to be using rich razzleberry because that's one of the one of the pencils here this one's rich razzleberry so I've got rich raspberry cardstock and I've also got some whisper white cardstock so I'm going to be making two cards of varying levels and all I've done is I've just layered a piece of white for on top of the rich raspberry and a piece of rich raspberry for on top of the white and I've got a few scraps to the side of my desk to see how we go so which one should I do first I think I'm going to do this one first I've got an idea what I'm going to do with this one <laughs> well I've got a rough idea. I'm just going to grab a scrap piece of grid paper and pop that underneath. And then I'm just going to get the flower from here. I'm getting the bigger flower as well. I'm just going to pop it on my block. Blocks are included in the set. The block that's included in this set is this one here. It's a little bit thinner than our regular blocks. However, it's just slightly bigger, so it does fit the stamps on a bit better. I haven't opened it because I have my own blocks. So I thought I could give it to a lady in my class that doesn't have her own blocks. This is Rich Razzleberry ink. Okay. It's on the old style ink pads. And all I'm going to do is ink my flower up with the Rich Razzleberry ink. And I'm just going to stamp it on the card. I don't know whether you can see that. It just makes... A very subtle impression on the card and I'm just going to stamp that all over to make my own pattern. These are all very um, ad hoc, I haven't planned them before, I'm just going by what we can do so they might end up a bit a bit crazy. My one yesterday I, I aqua painted it part way through which was something I perhaps wasn't planning to do. That's just going to create my background. It's a bit like my own DSP for this. Okay. Then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a scrap piece of Whisper White. I'll, uh, I'll use this one. I stamped this dog on it earlier. It's from a, um, a card I'm making for later in the week. But isn't it cute? It's from the City Pretty stamp set and I love that dog. I'm just going to turn him over, I'm not going to use him. Uh, which one shall I use? Um, I'm not go 
with sending lots of... No, here's to the happiest birthday yet is what I'm going to go with. Um, I'm going to do that again in rich raspberry. Pop that on there. And I'm just using the one and three quarter inch punch. Because if you've just started stamping and you've enjoyed the kits with the punch, They've already got the punch outs in, but it'd be so handy to get a punch. They're lovely. So here's the happiest birthday yet. I quite like that. Yep, I'm just going to pop that up with some dimensionals. I have got loads of dimensionals left over from these kits. They give you a half sheet like this. And this one is all of the cards from today's and all of the cards from yesterday's. And I'm still going and I've only got through one, so I have a spare spare half from this kit they're very generous with the dimensionals okay and a wink of Stella pen always recommend keeping a wink of Stella pen on hand and I'm just going to glitz up the bits that's the flower and if you watched my video yesterday you'll know I'm in a very messy mood recently I've got very rebellious <laughs> And I don't always mind keeping in the lines. I don't know why. I used to be quite OCD about the lines and stay in them. But all of a sudden, if it's glitter or if it's watercolour, I quite like going outside them or not reaching them completely because I think it creates a nice effect on them. I don't know if you can see, but... There you go. I think whatever crafts you're doing, no matter how simple it is, Wink of Stella always makes it look really complex and makes it look much better, I think. Love a bit of glitter. So I'm just going to... I've already scored this in half and it's just a tenfold card, so I'm just going to push that down and lightly burnish it. And that's going to go on there. And that is my card. How simple is that? I was just sort of thinking about putting something else on it, but I don't think it needs it. I think that's quite, quite good, quite simple. I'm just going to put some glue on that. I'm not going to lie it down because my wink Stella is still wet. And there's card number one. How simple is that to make your own card exactly from the kit? Love that. So the next one I'm going to do, I'm just going to move my glue to the side. It's going to be on the same sort of idea. Still, oh. <laughs> I don't think I've scored that very straight. I'm going to go back and score it again. It. Done something a bit. What have I done? Let me get another piece of rich raspberry. Bear with me. My drawers are just to the side of my desk, so I just grab some and cut it in half. Oh, that's what I've done. I used a piece of 12 by 12 rather than 10 and a half, um, rather than A4. So that's why my scoring went out. 
but I'm back and I've got the right size now. There we go. That should be fine this time. There it is. There we go. Right, so with this one, I'm going to do roughly the same, but this time I'm going to be using it with Memento ink because I'm going to be doing some watercolour. Just grab my stamping scrub. If you are going to be progressing with your stamping to go in just to going from a kit to using your actual stamps separately, I really recommend the stamping scrub and the stamping mist. It stops you from getting all of the colours mixed up and it just gives you a clear image afterwards without having any of the old colour that you were using on. So that's really handy. I'm just going to grab this flower here as well. I'm just going to create a border on this one. And again. So if I put all of these on the borders, it's no particular border, it's just making a nice border around the edges. I'm sorry, I think my head's just knocked you. I always try to look over when I'm stamping, but when I'm filming, I haven't got that luxury, so I, <laughs> I forget and knock you over. Border just from using the stamps that came with it so both of those can go to the side and now I'm just going to be using the watercolour pens that if you've already had the kit you will have used so I'm just going to start off in the middle with the rich razzleberry and because it's going on to rich razzleberry card I'm just going to put a bit more rich razzleberry on it than I am flirty flamingo to make it darker so it matches It's going to be a bit longer than usual because I'm colouring, but this time I'm colouring messy because I'm going to be using a blender pen to blend it all in together. that round. Like I said, I know I've done it messy, but it will look better as it goes. That bit there. Reminds me of the um, Petal Palette Suite. I love that suite. Okay, and then I'm just going to come in with some flirty flamingo just to make it a bit, a bit lighter. And I'm just going to highlight quickly over that on each one before I come in with my blender pen. How quick is that? But it mingles both colours together and it gives it a really nice tone. You only need to buy one blender pen. I know they come in packs of three, so that's a silly thing to say. The ladies in my craft group have bought packs and shared them between themselves because as soon as you've finished with this end, 
you can just run it back out, it runs clear and then you can use it on a different colour. So you only need, need one really. should start a club like that. I do my um, paper share club so that everyone doesn't have to spend as much money on paper. Perhaps I should do it on um, utensils as well and tools that people might need. So I'm just using what's left on my brush to very quickly get the, the dotted bits. I think they're like little bits of popcorn. I know they're buds, but I think they look like popcorn. But I'm on a diet, so I'm obsessed at the moment with stuff I can't eat. that you're never hungry until you're on a diet are you you're quite happily content and then you go on a diet and all of a sudden you want to eat everything that you you don't normally always fancy but you just want to eat it because you're on a diet i'm terrible like that i've done quite well though it's um it's a protein world diet so it's it shakes most of the day meal replacement type things and i lost 18 pounds so i'm a little happy but a little bit of a way to go yet before the summer. Right, just finish up the leaves. I'm only going to be doing it with the old olive rather than coming in with a lemon lime twist because I don't want to make it too unbearably long watching me colour in. So that's you just colour, take the pink out and you can then just run straight over the green. that bit done now all round so you've got a nice border so I'm just going to use my wink of Stella again because I used it on the other one and if you've you've got it you might as well use it and I'm just going to pop it on each flower again I am just going super quick to get the glitter on here I only want to give it a bit of sparkle but If you've got pretty florals you might as well sparkle it up and glamour it there we go and then I'm just going to stick this like I did the other one onto the rich razzleberry backing Just got my piece of scrap again so I'm going to be using the my white what did I do before here's to the happiest birthday yet I'm going to use a different one I will use you deserve the best life has to offer I like that and rich raspberry there we go the dimensionals wherever I popped those there we go stick that down in the corner there you deserve the best life has to offer so those are my two cards just using stuff from the kit with a few extra items so that if you've decided you like it you can buy a few things just to up upsell it and make some nice products so that was on top of the cards I showed you earlier which I've moved and can't show you again because I have no idea 
where I put them. But what I will give you as a very quick tip at the end is I bought this box with the new pre-order and I thought to myself, it's got some embellishments in it. Those are the embellishments it's got, um, which I'm obviously going to take out and do things with, but it's quite a pretty box. I quite like it. So I've decided that the stamp sets that come in the kits are quite little stamp sets. That's exactly where I'm going to keep them, just in there. So there you go, but thanks for joining me today. All the details in regards to the kits and the extra items will be on my blog, so do pop over. And if you missed the soft sayings ones yesterday, do go and check that out too. Thanks everybody, bye.